Lorath Prime was a planet unlike any other in the known galaxy. Its surface was a testament to the achievements of the Lorath, a species whose thirst for knowledge had propelled them to the forefront of technological and cultural advancement. The planet's cities were marvels of architecture and innovation, with towers that pierced the sky, interconnected by streams of light that carried data and thought itself at the speed of light. At the heart of this civilization lay the Great Archive, a colossal structure that spiraled towards the heavens, its spires visible from space. It was here, among the endless halls and digital labyrinths, that the collective wisdom of the Lorath was stored. Artifacts from across the galaxy, texts of ancient philosophies, and the relics of civilizations long past filled its vaults, watched over by scholars and AI sentinels alike. Vixel, despite his unassuming beginnings, had become one of the Archive's most renowned explorers, born to a family of traders who navigated the star lanes, bartering goods and stories alike. Vixel's childhood was spent aboard the family's modest vessel, the Nomad's Riddle. His parents, skilled negotiators and storytellers, had filled his head with tales of lost worlds and ancient secrets, igniting a flame of curiosity that would define his path. It was a chance discovery during one of their trading voyages that set Vixel on his journey. Amidst a cache of artefacts acquired from a distant outpost, Vixel found a fragment of a map, inscribed with symbols that matched no known language or star chart in the Lorath databases. His parents, recognising the significance of the find, gifted it to the Great Archive, where it became the subject of intense study. Vixel, unable to shake the mystery of the map fragment, enrolled in the Archive's Academy, there, he immersed himself in the study of xenolinguistics and archaeology, determined to unlock the secrets that had eluded even the archivist's most seasoned scholars. His dedication paid off when he uncovered a reference to the symbols in a dusty tome buried in the archive's oldest section, a reference to the humans, a species that had vanished from the galaxy, leaving behind only ruins and unanswered questions. The humans, as Vixel learned, were once considered the architects of their own demise. Their ambition had led them to reach too far, too quickly, resulting in their disappearance. But Vixel saw something else in their story, a reflection of the Lorath's own journey. The humans, for all their flaws, were explorers and dreamers, much like the Lorath themselves. Determined to uncover the truth behind the humans' disappearance, and convinced that the map fragment was the key, Vixel petitioned the Archives Council for a ship and a crew. His reputation as a scholar and his groundbreaking research into the human's language and culture won him their approval. The Seeker of Truths, a salvage cruiser repurposed for exploration, became his vessel, a fitting name for a ship tasked with uncovering the greatest mystery of the age. Assembling his crew, Vixel sought out those who shared his passion for discovery. Lyrax, a fellow scholar whose brilliance was matched only by his eccentricity, was the first to join. A master of physics and engineering, Lyrax had spent years developing theories that pushed the boundaries of Lorath science. Together with Thalia, a young historian whose fascination with lost civilizations had led her to the archive, and a handful of other specialists hand-picked for their skills and daring, Vixel set out to trace the path outlined by the ancient map fragment. The journey to the edge of known space was fraught with anticipation and danger. The region where the map pointed was uncharted, a void on the star charts where signals were lost and ships seldom returned. Yet for Vixel and his crew the call of the unknown was irresistible. As they approached their destination, the fabric of space itself seemed to warp and shimmer, a phenomenon that Lyrax eagerly documented, his instruments whirring and beeping with excitement. The Seeker of Truths pushed forward, its engines humming with power as they pierced the veil of the unknown. What awaited them was a field of debris, the remnants of ancient battles and forgotten voyages. Among the wreckage, the silhouette of a ship emerged, its design unlike anything the Lorath had seen before. It was a ghost ship, adrift in the void, its hull marked by the scars of time. The discovery sent a ripple of excitement through the crew. They had found it, a piece of the puzzle that was the human civilization. As Vixel led the team into the heart of the derelict, he couldn't shake the feeling that they were about to uncover a truth that would change everything. The ship was a time capsule, its corridors and chambers preserved in the vacuum of space. As they made their way to the bridge, the evidence of the crew's last moments surrounded them. It was here, among the frozen consoles and silent alarms, that they found the first clue to the ship's origins. A symbol, unmistakably human. 
The realization that they had found a piece of the human legacy was overwhelming. The ship held within it the answers to questions that had haunted Vixel since his youth. But it was also a warning, a reminder of the fine line between ambition and hubris. As they delved deeper into the ship's secrets, uncovering technologies and data that hinted at the heights of human achievement, Vixel knew that they stood on the brink of a discovery that would echo through the ages. The Seeker of Truths returned to Lorath Prime, its hold filled with artifacts and data cores from the derelict. Vixel and his crew were hailed as heroes, their names etched into the annals of the archive. But for Vixel, the journey was far from over. The legacy of humanity was a beacon calling them to the stars, but it also cast long shadows. The path they chose to walk, guided by the light of their discoveries, would determine the fate of the Lorath civilization. As Vixel looked out into the star-filled sky, he knew that the echoes of the void had answered his call. The journey of the Seeker of Truths was a testament to the power of curiosity and the unyielding desire for knowledge, but it was also a journey of discovery, not just of the secrets of the universe, but of themselves. In the void, they had found not just the remnants of a lost civilization, but a reflection of their own aspirations and fears. The Seeker of Truths was more than a ship, it was a symbol of aspiration a vessel that carried the hopes of a civilization towards the uncharted realms of space. It sat quietly in the orbital dock above Lorath Prime, its hull reflecting the light of the home star, a gleaming emblem of exploration against the backdrop of the cosmos. Vixel stood at the viewing platform of the Great Archive, his gaze fixed on the ship that would soon venture into the unknown. The Seeker was not the largest ship in the Lorath fleet, nor the most advanced, but it was uniquely suited to the mission at hand. It had been retrofitted with the latest in Lorath technology, from propulsion systems capable of navigating the most turbulent regions of space to shields that could withstand the barrage of cosmic radiation. Yet for all its technological prowess, it was the ship's crew that would define its journey. Lyrax, the ship's chief science officer, was already aboard, no doubt poring over the last of his equipment checks. A Lorath of remarkable intellect and curiosity, Lyrax had been Vixel's first and only choice for the position. His theories on subspace anomalies and faster-than-light travel had been deemed radical by many of his peers, but Vixel saw in him a kindred spirit, someone who looked beyond the boundaries of current understanding towards what could be possible. Then there was Thalia, a young historian whose expertise lay in the study of ancient civilizations. Her insights into the cultures that had once flourished across the galaxy were unparalleled, and her ability to decipher the remnants of their existence had already proven invaluable. She had joined the crew out of a shared fascination with the humans, drawn by the mystery of their disappearance and the echoes of their legacy that lingered among the stars. As Vixel made his way to the ship, he reflected on the others who had answered the call of the Seeker. There was Karen, the navigator, whose knowledge of the star charts was said to rival that of the Archive's own databases. His unassuming demeanour belied a sharp mind and a steady hand, qualities that would be crucial in navigating the uncharted territories that lay ahead. Joining them was Sira, the ship's medic and a biologist whose expertise extended beyond the physiology of the Lorath to encompass a myriad of species across the galaxy. Her fascination with the diversity of life and her dedication to preserving it made her an essential part of the crew, ready to face the unknown challenges of the voyage. The final member of the crew was Ren, the engineer, tasked with keeping the Seeker operational in the depths of space. His skills had been honed in the shipyards of Lorath Prime, where he had worked on vessels that explored the furthest reaches of the Lorath territories. Ren's pragmatic approach to problem-solving and his unwavering calm in the face of adversity made him the backbone of the ship's operational capabilities. As Vixel boarded the Seeker, he was greeted by the hum of activity. The crew was making final preparations, checking and rechecking systems, ensuring that everything was in order for their departure. There was a sense of anticipation in the air, a collective breath held before the plunge into the unknown. Vixel made his way to the bridge, where Lyrax was already at his station, surrounded by screens displaying data streams and diagnostic reports. Thalia was nearby, her attention fixed on a holographic display of the region of space they were about to explore. Karan and Sira were in deep discussion over the ship's course, plotting a path that would take them through the least charted sectors. Ren moved through the ship, his tools at the ready, a reassuring presence among the crew. As the final checks were completed and the ship was cleared for departure, Vixel took his place at the helm. 
the seeker of truths was more than a ship. It was a testament to the Lorath's desire to reach beyond the known, to seek answers in the vastness of space. Engage, Vixel commanded, his voice steady. The seeker of truth slipped its moorings, moving gracefully away from Lorath Prime. As it cleared the planet's gravity well, the engines flared to life, propelling the ship into the void. Ahead lay the unknown, a journey that would take them to the edges of Lorath understanding and beyond. But it was not the promise of discovery that weighed most heavily on Vixel's mind as the ship entered the depths of space. It was the question of what they would find there in the echoes of the void. The legacy of the humans, with all its brilliance and tragedy, was a mirror to the Lorath's own ambitions. In seeking out the remnants of a lost civilization, the Seeker of Truths was also searching for a reflection of its own future. And the journey ahead would test them in ways they could not yet imagine. But for Vixel and his crew, the call of the unknown was irresistible. The Seeker of Truths was on its way, carrying them towards their destiny among the stars. The vastness of space unfolded before the Seeker of Truths as it sailed away from the familiar confines of Lorath Prime. The stars, once distant points of light, now beckoned like lanterns guiding them through the dark. The crew settled into the rhythm of space travel, each member absorbed in their duties, united by a common purpose yet isolated in their thoughts. Vixel, standing at the helm, watched the cosmos stretch out before him. He felt a mix of exhilaration and trepidation. The path they were about to embark on was uncharted, marked by anomalies that defied explanation. The region of space they sought, where the map fragment suggested the remnants of the human civilization might be found, was known among the Lorath explorers as the Breach, a place where the fabric of space seemed to fold upon itself, creating rifts that swallowed ships whole. Lyrax, ever the optimist, was fascinated by the Breach. He saw it not as a barrier, but as a puzzle waiting to be solved. His theories on navigating the anomalies had been the subject of much debate, but now they would be put to the test. His instruments, arrayed like the orchestra of the cosmos, hummed and blinked, ready to probe the mysteries of the void. Thalia spent her days in the ship's library, poring over ancient texts and star maps, searching for any clue that might hint at what had become of the humans. Her fascination with their culture had grown into a personal quest, a need to understand the minds of those who had once reached for the stars with such fervour. The silence of space around her was filled with the echoes of lost civilizations, their stories whispered in the dark. Karen's hands danced over the navigation console, plotting a course through the stars with precision and care. His familiarity with the star charts made him an invaluable asset. But the breach was beyond even his experience. The void ahead was a canvas of unknowns, a place where intuition and skill would be their only guides. Sirar in the medbay, catalogued the crew's health and monitored the environmental systems. Space travel, especially into unknown regions, posed countless risks, from radiation exposure to the psychological effects of isolation. Her work, often unnoticed, was the thread that kept the fabric of the crew together, ensuring they remained fit to face the challenges ahead. Ren, meanwhile, was a constant presence in the engine room and the corridors of the Seeker. His tools were an extension of his hands, each one selected for its specific purpose. The ship was his charge, its hums and creaks a language only he understood. The upcoming journey through the breach would test the limits of the Seeker, and Wren was determined to see them through. As the Seeker approached the outer boundaries of the breach, the crew gathered on the bridge. The stars seemed to warp and twist, the beauty of the cosmos marred by the unseen forces that lurked in the void. Lyrax's instruments began to emit a low, constant tone, a warning that they were on the threshold of the unknown. Steady, Vixel said, his voice calm yet firm. Lyrax, keep those readings coming. Karan, adjust our heading to match the anomalies. Let's not give the void any surprises. The Seeker entered the breach, its shields shimmering as they encountered the turbulent forces. The ship shuddered, a silent scream as it resisted the pull of the rifts. Vixel's hands were steady on the controls, guiding the ship with a precision born of years among the stars. Then, as suddenly as it had begun, the turbulence ceased. The Seeker emerged on the other side of the breach, into a region of space untouched by Lorath or human. Before them lay the debris field, a graveyard of ships that had not been as fortunate in their journeys. Among the wreckage the silhouette of an ancient vessel floated, its design unmistakably human. The crew of the Seeker of Truth stood in silence, confronted with the reality of their quest. They were not the first to reach for the stars, nor would they be the last. 
but in that moment they were the bridge between the past and the future, the bearers of hope in the search for understanding. As Vixel ordered the approach to the derelict ship, he knew that their true journey was just beginning, the secrets of the humans awaited, hidden in the void, a reminder of the fleeting nature of existence and the enduring quest for knowledge. The seeker of truths had crossed into the unknown and what they would find there would change them in ways they could not yet imagine. Silence enveloped the bridge of the Seeker of Truths as it drifted slowly towards the derelict vessel, its shadow looming large against the backdrop of a distant nebula. The ship, an ancient relic of the human era, hung suspended in the void, a silent testament to a journey that had ended eons ago. Its hull bore the marks of time and space, yet retained a dignity, a reminder of the civilization that had crafted it. Vixel felt a profound sense of reverence as he ordered the docking procedure. This was hallowed ground, a bridge to the past that few had the privilege to cross. The crew, each absorbed in their roles, moved with a quiet efficiency, driven by the weight of their undertaking. As the airlock sealed with a soft hiss, Vixel, Lyrax, Thalia and a select team prepared to board the ancient craft. Their suits were equipped with the latest in Lorath technology, designed to protect them from the unknown environments they might encounter. Yet as they stepped into the airlock, Vixel felt a vulnerability that technology could not shield against. They were about to walk through the corridors of history to touch the echoes of a species that had reached for the stars and vanished. The interior of the ship was a labyrinth of corridors and compartments, each turn revealing a piece of the human story. Thalia led the way her knowledge of human architecture guiding them towards the ship's heart. The walls spoke of a people who valued art and beauty, their surfaces adorned with images that had faded but not forgotten. The bridge was a cavern of shadows, lit only by the intermittent flicker of failing systems. The crew's final moments were etched into the stillness, chairs upturned in a last, desperate attempt to avert disaster. At the centre the captain's chair faced a viewport that looked out into the abyss a silent sentinel watching over the crew's final resting place. Lyrax's instruments came to life as he began to extract data from the ship's ancient computers. The technology was obsolete by Lorath standards, but the information it held was priceless. Star charts, logs and records began to form a picture of the humans' journey, their exploration and discoveries, their hopes and fears. Vixel was drawn to the captain's console, where a holographic display flickered weakly to life at his touch. It was a message, a final testament, left by the ship's commander. The hologram was degraded, its image distorted, but the voice that spoke was clear, filled with a mix of sorrow and resolve. We reached for the stars, the captain said, his words echoing through the silence. We sought to make our mark on the cosmos, to find our place among the ancient lights. But we found more than we bargained for in the dark. We are not alone and our journey has awakened things that were better left undisturbed. The message ended with a plea, a warning to those who might follow in their footsteps. The humans had encountered something in the void, something that had led to their downfall. Vixel felt a chill as the implications sank in. The humans' disappearance was not a simple tale of overreach. It was a cautionary tale of the dangers that lurked in the unknown. As the team explored further, they discovered more than just records and logs. They found artefacts of human culture, items that spoke of everyday life and the individuals who had lived aboard the ship. Thalia gathered these relics with care, each one a piece of the puzzle that was the human civilization. Lyrax, meanwhile, made a breakthrough in the ship's engineering section. He had uncovered the schematics for the hyperdrive, a technology that had propelled the humans across the stars. The design was revolutionary, offering insights that could advance Lorath understanding by leaps and bounds. But it was the discovery of the ship's log that held the crew's rapt attention. It detailed the humans' encounters with other civilizations, their awe at the wonders of the galaxy, and their growing realization of the dangers they faced. The final entry spoke of a discovery that had turned their dream into a nightmare, a force that they could not comprehend or combat. As they returned to the Seeker of Truths, the crew was silent, each lost in thought. They had set out to uncover the secrets of the human's disappearance, to bridge the gap between past and present, but they had found more than they had bargained for. The ghost ship was not just a relic, it was a warning, a beacon that cast light on the perils of reaching into the dark. Vixel knew that their mission had changed. They were no longer just explorers, they were custodians of a story that needed to be told.
the legacy of the humans, with its beauty and its tragedy, was a mirror that reflected the Lorath's own aspirations and fears. As the Seeker of Truth set its course back towards Lorath Prime, Vixel pondered the message they would bring. It was a tale of ambition and caution, of dreams and nightmares. It was a reminder that the stars, for all their beauty, held secrets that were not meant to be uncovered. But it was also a testament to the enduring spirit of exploration, to the desire to know the unknown, to reach beyond the boundaries of understanding. The journey of the Seeker of Truths was far from over, and the echoes of the Void would guide them towards their destiny among the stars. With the Seeker of Truths cutting its silent path through the star-studded darkness back to Lorath Prime, the mood amongst the crew was a complex tapestry of triumph and trepidation. They had ventured into the unknown, touched the fabric of a long-lost civilization, and emerged with artifacts and data that promised to leapfrog Lorath understanding of the cosmos. Yet the haunting words of the human captain lingered in their minds, casting long shadows over their accomplishments, Vixel found himself wrestling with a torrent of thoughts as he gazed out into the void. The mission had begun as a quest for knowledge, a daring leap into the dark based on the fragment of a map and a legend. Now it had transformed into a saga of discovery and warning, intertwining the fate of the Lorath with the spectral legacy of humanity. The captain's message hinted at marvels and horrors beyond comprehension, at encounters that had perhaps shaped the destiny of an entire species. What had the humans awoken in the depths of space? And more importantly, what did it mean for the Lorath? As the Seeker docked at Lorath Prime, the data cores and artifacts were immediately taken under the protective custody of the Great Archive. The High Council convened an emergency session to hear Vixel's report. The chamber, usually a place of debate and deliberation, was suffused with a palpable tension as Vixel recounted their journey into the breach and the discoveries aboard the ghost ship. Lyrax presented the technical data, including the revolutionary hyperdrive schematics and the advanced engineering concepts gleaned from the human relic. Thalia spoke of the cultural artefacts, of the glimpses into daily life and the broader societal structure they offered, painting a portrait of a people not so different from the Lorath in their dreams and aspirations. Yet it was the captain's message that dominated the discussions. The councillors debated its implications, with some viewing it as a cautionary tale urging restraint and others seeing it as a call to arm against unseen threats. The debate raged, a microcosm of the broader societal divide on the path forward. Amid the fervour, a faction within the council, led by Councillor Kieran, argued for the aggressive pursuit of the technologies uncovered. They saw in them a means to ensure Lorath dominance in the galaxy, a safeguard against the unknown threats that had undone the humans. Their rhetoric was persuasive, tapping into deep-seated fears and ambitions. Vixel, however, stood firm. He argued that the human legacy was not a trove to be plundered, but a beacon warning them of the perils of unchecked ambition. The artefacts and data, he posited, should be studied, yes, but with the aim of understanding, not exploitation. The Lorath, he said, had a responsibility not just to themselves, but to the memory of a civilization that had reached out in friendship and curiosity, only to be consumed by the dark. The council was divided, but Vixel's eloquence and the weight of the evidence swayed the decision. It was agreed that the human artefacts would be placed under the stewardship of the Great Archive to be studied and preserved. A new directive was issued calling for the careful exploration of the technologies and the establishment of a committee to oversee the research with Vixel and his crew at its heart. As the Seeker of Truths was refitted for its next voyage, Vixel pondered the road ahead. The galaxy was a vast, uncharted expanse, filled with wonders and dangers in equal measure. The legacy of the humans had shown them the heights to which a civilization could soar and the depths to which it could fall. The journey of the Seeker of Truth was a testament to the Lorath spirit of exploration and discovery, but it was also a journey into the self, a mirror reflecting their ambitions, fears and the choices that lay before them. As they prepared to embark once more into the unknown, Vixel knew that the true discovery lay not in the stars, but in what they revealed about themselves. The shadows of greatness loomed large, but so too did the light of understanding and hope. The Seeker of Truths would sail again, guided by the twin beacons of curiosity and caution, into the heart of the unknown. The revelations brought back by the Seeker of Truths had sent ripples through Lorath Prime, stirring a mixture of excitement, fear and ambition. Among the stars, however, 
the crew's discoveries had not gone unnoticed. Word of the ancient human technologies and the potential they held had spread far beyond the confines of Lorath space, eventually reaching the Tiskrang, a species known for their militaristic expansion and avaricious interest in the technologies of other civilizations. The Tiskrang viewed the Lorath's acquisition of human artifacts as a direct challenge to their supremacy, a treasure trove of technological advancements that could not be allowed to remain in the hands of what they considered a lesser species. Thus they devised a plan to seize the relics and the knowledge the Seeker of Truths had unearthed. Meanwhile, on Lorath Prime, Vixel and his crew were embroiled in the political aftermath of their expedition. The debate within the High Council had laid bare the divisions within Lorath society, between those who sought to heed the warnings of the human captain and those like Councillor Kieran and his followers, who pushed for the exploitation of the discovered technologies to ensure Lorath's dominance. As the Lorath grappled with these existential questions, a clandestine meeting took place on a remote outpost at the edge of Tiskrang space. Representatives of Councillor Kieran's faction met with envoys of the Tiskrang, unbeknownst to the High Council and the citizens of Lorath Prime. The Tiskrang proposed an alliance of convenience, offering military support to Kieran's faction in exchange for unrestricted access to the human technologies. Tempted by the promise of power and swayed by their own hubris, Kieran's envoys agreed to the pact, setting the stage for a betrayal that would threaten the very fabric of Lorath society. Back on Lorath Prime, Vixel had grown increasingly concerned about the polarization gripping their civilization. He saw in the divisions a mirror of the human tale, a civilization torn apart by its own contradictions and ambitions. Determined to prevent a similar fate for the Lorath, Vixel sought to rally those who shared his vision for a path guided by wisdom and caution. The first sign of the Tiskrang Gambit came not from the political echelons, but from the depths of space. A Lorath scientific outpost, positioned on the fringes of the breach, ceased all communication, its last transmissions garbled by what appeared to be an attack. The High Council, still divided, struggled to mount a coherent response, hampered by the undercurrents of conspiracy and dissent. Vixel, sensing the urgency of the situation, proposed a daring plan to the High Council. The Seeker of Truths, with its experienced crew and knowledge of the human technologies, would investigate the outpost's silence and confront the emerging threat. Despite the reservations of some councillors, the plan was approved, a testament to the trust Vixel had earned. As the Seeker of Truths prepared to depart, Vixel addressed his crew, his voice steady yet imbued with the gravity of their mission. We stand at a crossroads, he said. The path we choose will define the future of our civilization. We sail not just for the Lorath, but for the legacy of all who have reached for the stars. The crew, united by their trials and their shared purpose, set forth into the unknown once more. The void between the stars was a canvas of light and shadow, of possibilities and perils untold. Ahead lay the silent outpost, a beacon in the dark that held the key to the Tiskran Gambit and the destiny of the Lorath. The Seeker of Truth slipped silently through the void, its crew braced for the confrontation that awaited them. Their journey was a testament to the courage to face the unknown, to the resolve to protect the legacy of the past, and to the hope that, even in the darkest of times, the light of understanding could guide them through. The void of space was a silent witness to the Seeker of Truths as it journeyed toward the silent outpost, the first victim of the Tiskrang's gambit against the Lorath. Aboard the ship, the mood was one of grim determination. Vixel and his crew understood the gravity of their mission. They were not just fighting for the survival of their civilization, but also for the preservation of a legacy that transcended their own existence. As they neared the outpost, the remnants of the attack became apparent. Debris floated in the silent void, a haunting testament to the outpost's last stand. The damage bore the signature of Tiskrang weaponry, confirming their worst fears. Yet amidst the wreckage there was no sign of the Tiskrang fleet, leaving an eerie quiet that spoke of a predator lurking just beyond sight. Vixel ordered the seeker to halt at the edge of the debris field. Lirax, scan for any Tiskrang signatures. Karan, keep us on a tight orbit. I want to know the moment anything comes out of the void at us, he instructed, his voice a calm anchor amidst the tension. Lyrax's instruments hummed as they pierced the darkness, seeking out the faintest hint of their adversary. 
Notice Krang's signatures detected, he reported, though his tone suggested little comfort in the news. The Tiskrang were known for their cunning. Their absence was as much a strategy as their presence. Vixel turned to Thalia. Start the recovery drones. Let's see if we can salvage any data from the outpost. We need to know what they found here. What was worth silencing? Thalia nodded, her fingers dancing across her console, deploying drones that whisked away into the debris. The wait was a test of patience, a silent vigil as they watched for any sign of the Tiskrang or a clue to their motives. The drones returned bearing data cores and fragments of logs that painted a chilling picture. The outpost had stumbled upon an ancient artefact buried in the fabric of space near the breach. The logs were fragmented, but they spoke of a discovery that had the potential to shift the balance of power in the galaxy. It was this artefact that had drawn the Tiskrang, a prize they deemed worth the obliteration of the outpost. Vixel pondered their next move. The artifact, whatever it was, represented a knowledge and power that could not fall into the Tiskrang's hands. Yet seeking it out meant venturing deeper into the unknown, into the very more of the threat that had annihilated the outpost. The decision weighed heavily on him, a burden shared by his crew. They had set out as explorers, seekers of truth amongst the stars, but fate had cast them as guardians against a darkness that sought to devour the past and shape the future in its image. Set course for the artifact's last known coordinates, Vixel commanded, his resolve hardening. We cannot let the Tiskrang claim what belongs to the legacy of the stars. We will find this artifact, and we will ensure it serves as a beacon, not a weapon. The Seeker of Truth sailed forth, its course set towards the heart of the breach, towards a secret that had lain hidden since the era of the humans. The crew faced the unknown, fortified by their trust in one another and the righteousness of their cause. Their journey was not just a mission to thwart the Tuskrang, it was a pilgrimage to the cradle of cosmic knowledge, a testament to the Lorath's commitment to their principles in the face of oblivion. They sailed on, guided by the echoes through time, towards a destiny that awaited them in the shadow of forgotten worlds. As the Seeker of Truths ventured deeper into the breach, a sense of unease permeated the ship. The void around them seemed to pulse with an unseen life, a reminder of the captain's warning from the ghost ship. Vixel, standing resolute at the helm, felt the weight of their mission pressing upon him. This was no longer a simple exploration. It was a quest that could define the future of not just the Lorath, but potentially all civilizations within the galaxy. The coordinates led them to a region of space where reality seemed to warp and fold in upon itself. Starlight twisted into impossible shapes and the darkness seemed to stare back at them with unseen eyes. We're close, Lyrax announced, his voice tinged with both excitement and apprehension. His instruments were barely able to make sense of the readings in this distorted region of space. Karan, navigating through the spatial anomalies with a precision that bordered on the instinctual, managed to steer the seeker towards a relatively stable pocket of space. There, hidden within a cloak of distorted reality, lay the artefact. It was a structure, colossal and ancient, suspended in the void. Its design was unlike anything they had seen before, with surfaces that seemed to absorb light and etchings that glowed with an inner luminescence. The crew was silent, awestruck by the sight. This was the source of the Tuskrang's interest, the cause of the outpost's destruction. Vixel knew they had to act quickly. Thalia, Lerax, prepare for an EVA. We need to understand what we're dealing with, he ordered, his voice steady despite the churn of emotions within him. The artifact's surface was cold to the touch, the metal unlike any they had encountered. Lerax's instruments began to whir and beep frantically as they approached the etchings, deciphering the patterns that seemed both mathematical and artistic. It's a message, Lerax murmured his voice filled with wonder, a warning and a map. Thalia, meanwhile, was examining the structural integrity of the artefact. It's a beacon, she concluded, her expertise allowing her to see beyond the immediate mystery to the artefact's purpose. Designed to last through the ages, to guide or to warn. The map detailed not just star systems, but the flow of something much more elusive, path through subspace that could potentially shortcut across the galaxy. Yet intertwined with the map were symbols of danger, markers that seemed to indicate areas of great peril, perhaps the very threats the humans had awakened. As they worked to document and understand the artefact, a sense of urgency propelled them. The Tiskrang could arrive at any moment, drawn by the same prize that had led the Lorath here. 
They were about to withdraw when the artifact activated, responding to their presence. A pulse of energy radiated outwards, briefly illuminating the breach in a ghostly light. The pulse was a beacon, a call sent across the void. Vixel understood then that the artifact was not just a repository of knowledge, but a sentinel, placed by a civilization long gone to guard against the dangers they had unleashed. The decision of what to do next weighed heavily on Vixel. To leave the artifact here was to risk it falling into the Tiskrang's hands, but to take it with them was to assume a responsibility that could have unforeseeable consequences. In the end the choice was made for them. The Tiskrang arrived, their ships emerging from the folds of space, drawn by the artifact's pulse. Vixel and his crew returned to the Seeker, the artifact safely aboard, as they prepared to face the Tiskrang. The ensuing confrontation was a test of wills and technology. The Seeker of Truths, agile and quick, danced through the Tiskrang fleet, evading their heavier weapons while striking with precision. The battle was a testament to the crew's unity and skill, a desperate struggle for survival and the protection of the artifact. Nah. In the end it was the artifact itself that turned the tide. Unleashing a pulse of energy, it disabled the Tiskrang ships, leaving them adrift in space. The Seeker of Truths escaped into the folds of the breach, the artifact's map guiding them through paths unknown to emerge safely in Lorath space. The return to Lorath Prime was triumphant yet somber. They had secured the artifact, averted immediate disaster, and uncovered pathways through the stars that could redefine space travel. But the encounter with the Tiskrang had revealed the galaxy to be a more dangerous place than they had imagined. Vixel presented the artifact to the High Council, along with the data they had collected. The Council was faced with a choice, exploit the artifact's knowledge to assert Lorath dominance or heed the warnings embedded within its map and seek a path of understanding and caution. The decision was reflective, with Vixel's voice prevailing in the call for restraint and further study. The artifact was placed under the guardianship of the Great Archive, its secrets to be unlocked in time, with the wisdom to use them wisely. As Vixel looked out at the stars, he knew their journey was far from over. The weight of legacy, both human and Lorath, was a constant companion, a reminder of the responsibility they bore to the past and the future. The Seeker of Truths would sail again, guided by the light of discovery and the shadows of caution, into the heart of the galaxy's mysteries. In the wake of the Seeker of Truths' return, Lorath Prime was a planet in reflection, the successful retrieval of the artifact and the narrow escape from the Tiskrang conflict had ignited a fervour of debate among the Lorath people about their place in the cosmos and the path they should take forward. The High Council was inundated with petitions and arguments from all sides, each faction presenting its vision for the future. Vixel, now hailed as a hero and a visionary, found himself at the centre of this maelstrom. He had envisioned a Lorath society that thrived on discovery and understanding, one that respected the echoes of the past while forging its own legacy among the stars. Yet the reality was far more complicated. The artifact, with its profound implications for space travel and its stark warnings of unknown cosmic dangers, was a beacon that cast both light and shadow over their civilization. The High Council, swayed by Vixel's counsel and the evidence presented, had decreed that the artifact be studied with the utmost caution. A new division within the Great Archive was established, dedicated to unravelling its secrets and understanding the map it contained. Vixel was appointed to lead this division, a role he accepted with a sense of duty and a measure of trepidation. Under his guidance, a team of Lorath's finest minds began the delicate task of deciphering the artifact. The work was slow and methodical, each discovery revealing more about the ancient civilization that had created the beacon and the dangers they had sought to warn against. The map revealed pathways through subspace that promised to revolutionize space travel, yet each was marked with symbols of caution, hinting at perils that lay in wait. As the research progressed, Vixel was drawn to the stories of the civilization that had come before. They had been explorers and pioneers, much like the Lorath, but their journey had led them to a confrontation with forces beyond their comprehension. The artifact was not just a map, it was a testament to their courage and a warning of their hubris. Meanwhile, the Lorath Society began to grapple with the broader implications of their discoveries. The confrontation with the Tuskrang had revealed the galaxy to be a far more competitive and dangerous place than many had believed. 
The potential for the artefact's technologies to tip the balance of power in the galaxy did not go unnoticed, sparking debates about militarization and defense. Yet it was the vision of unity and understanding that ultimately prevailed. The Lorath people, inspired by the legacy of the civilization that had left the artefact and guided by Vixel's wisdom, chose a path of cautious exploration and cooperation. The High Council issued a declaration of principles, affirming their commitment to using the knowledge gained for the betterment of all and to seeking peaceful relations with their galactic neighbors. Vixel, standing before the Great Archive, looked out at the gathering of Lorath citizens. They had come to hear him speak, to learn of the discoveries and the path their civilization had chosen. As he addressed the crowd, he spoke of the journey of the Seeker of Truths, of the challenges they had faced and the choices that lay ahead. We stand at the dawn of a new era, he declared, his voice echoing through the square. An era defined not by conquest or fear, but by curiosity and a desire to understand the mysteries of the cosmos. The artefact has opened new paths to us, but it is our values that will guide us as we walk them. The crowd erupted in applause a chorus of hope and determination. The Lorath were ready to embark on this new journey, to explore the pathways revealed by the artefact and to face the challenges of the galaxy with wisdom and courage. As the applause faded, Vixel turned to gaze at the stars, their light undimmed by the distance. The seeker of truths would sail again, its mission now more vital than ever. But it would not sail alone. The Lorath, united by a shared vision, would journey together into the unknown, their eyes open to the wonders and dangers of the galaxy, their hearts beating with the promise of discovery. And somewhere in the vast expanse of space, the echoes of the past met the whispers of the future. A conversation that spanned the ages, reminding all who listened that the journey through the cosmos was not just about reaching new worlds, but about understanding the connections that bound them all together. In the silence of space, the seeker of truth set forth, a beacon of hope and curiosity, sailing toward a new dawn. In the months that followed the Lorath's decision to embark on a path of cautious exploration and openness, the galaxy watched and waited. The seeker of truths, now more than just a ship, but a symbol of a civilization's aspirations, prepared for its next voyage. This time, however, it would not journey alone. The Lorath had extended an invitation to the neighbouring civilizations, some of whom they had known only through distant observations and cautious diplomacy. The response was a tapestry of curiosity, scepticism and, in some quarters, hope. Vixel stood on the observation deck of the Great Archive, his gaze fixed on the assembly of ships that had answered the Lorath's call. Among them were vessels from the Ithari Confederacy, the Telna Collective and even a solitary envoy from the reclusive Zhani. Each ship bore the marks of its own civilization's journey through the stars, yet here they were, united by a common purpose, to explore the pathways revealed by the ancient artefact. The Lorath High Council, once divided on the path their society should take, now stood united in their commitment to this new endeavour. The artefact's map, a guide to the mysteries of subspace, and the wonders and dangers it contained had been shared openly with their new allies. Together, they would explore these pathways, not as conquerors, but as seekers of knowledge and understanding. Vixel, appointed as the ambassador and lead explorer of this multi-species endeavour, felt the gravity of his role. He was no longer just a captain, but a pioneer of a new way of navigating the galaxy's complexities. The lessons of the past, both the Loraths and the humans, were a constant guide. They had shown that the journey through the stars was fraught with dangers, both from without and within. Yet they had also shown that unity, respect for the unknown and a commitment to the greater good could illuminate the darkest of paths. As the fleet prepared to depart, Vixel addressed the assembled crews, his voice transmitting across the void to each ship. Today, we set forth not just on a journey through space, but on a journey of understanding, we venture into the unknown, guided by the hope that what we find will bring us closer, not just as species, but as denizens of the cosmos. Let us be mindful of the lessons of those who have journeyed before us, and let us carry forward the light of discovery with wisdom and courage. The fleet set out, slipping into the subspace pathways with a sense of anticipation that transcended species and borders. The galaxy seemed to hold its breath as the ships disappeared from view, embarking on a journey that would chart new courses through the unknown. 
Back on Lorath Prime, the people watched the skies, their hearts filled with a mix of pride and apprehension. The seeker of truths and its companion vessels were more than just ships. They were harbingers of a new era. An era where the mysteries of the galaxy could be unraveled through cooperation and shared curiosity, where the shadows of the past did not dictate the path of the future. And so as the fleet journeyed among the stars, they carried with them the hopes and dreams of countless beings. The galaxy was vast, its secrets infinite, but the light of discovery shone brightly, a beacon for all who dared to dream of what lay beyond the next horizon. In the vast expanse of space, where time and distance melded into the fabric of the cosmos, the journey of the Lorath and their allies was a testament to the enduring spirit of exploration. It was a journey that would, in time, reveal new truths, forge new alliances, and perhaps bring the galaxy a little closer together. Among the stars, the future awaited a canvas of infinite possibilities, painted with the light of exploration and the shadows of wisdom. The journey was far from over, it was just beginning.